Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video um, installment on Hitler and what his religion was. So, uh, because I think that comes up in debates sometimes, like whether Christian was, uh, or whether Hitler was a Christian or um, an atheist. And so hopefully this video, I'm going to try to keep it like under 10 minutes, but uh, will provide... Uh, the answer to that question and as to the degree that I'm able and so that's that's what I wanted to do here Hitler was not a Christian he was not an atheist either so he was neither of those so you can kind of get some common ground going with the atheist who's saying that he was a Christian and not an atheist you can say well no, he wasn't a or he wasn't an atheist, but he also wasn't a Christian. Um, so basically, Hitler's views were deeply Darwinian. Um, his his views were socially Darwin, Darwinist, and uh, he was he was also a theist, but his view of God was pantheistic, and it was an extension of his Darwinist view. Um, so Hitler did initially praise Christianity publicly because he thought that it was uh, beneficial for him and he needed Christian support because the European church was, the church was so uh, popular in Europe. But he hated the church. He had disclosed in pri private with his, um, with his cohorts that he hated Christianity. And many of his, uh, I, I don't know what you call them, an administration, uh, many of the people that he worked with, like I think Goebbels, who was the uh, minister of propaganda, they hated Christianity um, even more than him, and they thought that um, they should start the war against the church. But it's very likely that uh, Hitler's Hitler was coming to the for the church next. Like it was going to be the Jews, and then it was going to be the Christians after that. And yeah, he did send um, Christians to the concentration camps, but basically before World War Two and and in the thirties. Uh, he was already waging ideological warfare with the church and forcing them to conform to Nazi ideology. So, and many of them did, which uh, if we look at our times now, we, we, should, we should probably learn this stuff about Nazism because a lot of, a lot of their ideologies like kind of line up with with what's going on now. So, um, basically what, what Hitler said about Christianity is in lots of ways, very similar to what the left says about Christianity today. Well, I think Christians are fine believing whatever they want to believe. They just aren't allowed to talk about it in public or allowed to, uh, get involved with politics. Uh, so Hitler was saying all that kind of stuff. Um, and he was also, you know, going publicly and um, claiming that he was a Christian in front of people. So uh, he had to maintain, like I said, had to maintain his Christian support. And let me think for a second. Yeah, he, so he... Uh, did not like Christianity and the people he worked with, his uh, his uh, cabinet members didn't like Christianity, the Nazis. and um, So they appointed a leader of the Christian church, a man named Mueller, to uh, Nazify the Christian church. And of course there were people like Dietrich Bonhoeffer who stood against that and uh, and they were considered to be troublemakers and pesky theologians by the Nazis who were just kind of annoying, who wouldn't, 
and this was earlier before World War II, I think during World War II in the concentration camps, they would just put these, they would execute these people and just put them in, in concentration camps if, if they were troublemakers. But today you kind of see something similar with uh, the left, like thinking that Christians who don't conform with their narrative are troublemakers. So, you know, that's a red flag. Uh, so anyways, yeah, he was not a Christian and not an atheist, um, deeply Darwinian, and that's where his ideas of eugenics came from, uh, the most extreme form of eugenics, arguably, uh, which, which, um, led him to eliminating what he thought to be was the weakest race, uh, in the most, in his eyes, the most evil race, uh, the Jews, and also disabled people and black people and so because survival of the fittest and he thought that he was uh leading humanity into the next stage of its evolution and so he thought of himself as a messianic type of figure uh there's a book on it called hitler's religion by richard weikart i believe and this really um it's about 280 pages and it really examines his religion and then he wrote another book called uh from darwin to hitler which shows uh how hitler's viewpoints were darwinian in nature so um so while he was not altogether an atheist he did share the same worldview as many atheists do which is that you know we're just floating around on a rock in space and we're bacteria and uh we got to kill or be killed you know uh and I know that not all atheists believe that, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to tie atheism to Hitler, but that's, I mean, you gotta, you gotta just kind of acknowledge the links between these, the, the connections, like just connect the dots, right? Um, so he, I was trying to think of what else I wanted to add. So yeah, they weighed, waged ideological warfare with the church before World War II um, because they had to in order, they, they couldn't just wage war with the church without them knowing it. So um, kind of similar to today, they did it through incremental steps and um, many of the church, much of the church fell for it and Yeah, so I think that's that's pretty much most of the things that I wanted to talk about. Um, also, with this idea of pantheism and, and um, was basically similar to the kind of God is everything. The What's similar today that we can think of is like the Christ consciousness phenomenon, thinking of God as synonymous with the universe and not... Uh, a personal being, but, and that God is within me, and he's within you, and, um, you know, one of the, one of the yoga expressions is namaste, which means the divinity in me acknowledges or knows the divinity in you, um, so we have people very popularized in culture today that people believe that they are gods, and, um, and that has a lot of ties with pantheism, so I'm not saying that Hitler was a yogi, obviously, but um, he did uh, think of the universe as God. Um, so, and that was how he was able to make sense of his theology with uh, tying um, Darwinism to uh, theism and forming a comprehensive worldview out of that. So, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I hit 10 minutes. Um, I knew there was one more thing that I wanted to add that was important. Um, so yeah, I guess the expressions that he would say uh, about the church were, that was that was what I wanted to express, was things like the separation of the church and state, that Christians should privatize their faith, um, Christians should integrate our ideology, and those were the things that he was expressing that are similar to what the ideas that are expressed so commonly today and that are so popular today concerning Christianity. So anyways, I'm going to keep it under 10 minutes, like I promised, but uh, thank you for watching.
God bless.